Oh hey, it's Rob. And uh, once again, I don't really have any uh, anything that I've been working on that's, you know, I've shot any video of. Honestly, I've been mostly cleaning and rearranging my room, and I've got bins and stuff and tables taken apart and everything. So it's a uh, kind of a mess, but you know, it's always kind of a mess in one way or another. I had a fun one happen at work today. Uh, we have we work with a uh, Git as a uh, as a repository. If you do any kind of programming uh, with groups of people, you understand what Git is. And uh, part of that is um, branching. So it's like when you start working on something, you create a branch off of the uh, off of the master or off of you know, like a development branch. We have a development branch. And so you create this branch and then you work on this branch while this one is still sitting here. And then when you finish and you get the approval, then this one merges back into the development branch and the development branch is updated. At least that's how it's supposed to work. Uh, the problem is when you're working on code for a very long time, sometimes the development branch gets updated with code that is not compatible with your code, so there are issues. Well, I've been working on unit testing for a couple months now, and my development branch, or my uh, unit testing branch, has been sort of paralleling the uh, uh, the development branch for a while. But it's like periodically I've been trying to resync them. And yesterday, I got all my unit tests done, or at least of the of the ones that were working. And I was like, great. And I tried merging the development branch in first. Um, and when I did that, my build stopped working. So I went, okay. And uh, I went to check the development branch. So I checked out the development branch and compiled that. And it, it built just fine. And then I went back and my unit test branch was gone. It wasn't there. And I started looking and, you know, I was like, I went to the repo and did all these things and it was just gone. Not only that, it was gone through November 27th. So everything that I've done from November 27th until now was gone. Yeah. Um, was a little shaky this morning. Um, we did get it resolved, kind of, sort of. Um, was able to get pretty much everything restored uh, from about three days ago, and then I was able to find... A, it's, it's a long story. It's the inner workings of Git, and it's very strange. But uh, I was able to find um, the ones that I had... I was able to find the ones that I had updated yesterday. So it was, they were in there. They just weren't accessible. Uh, so I had to go in and dig through pull requests and all this other stuff. But I was able to get everything put back together today. Um, it's still not working, but at least I didn't lose several months of work. So that's been my day. The... Uh, door to the breezeway that I worked on, you know, a month ago or so, uh, is working really well. It's noticeably different. We've had some cold weather, and um, it's noticeably making a difference in the breezeway. You know, the breezeway is not warm, but it's warmer than outside. It's definitely cutting the wind, and it's making the kitchen much more pleasant to be in. Um, I got a new sink to replace the kitchen sink, so or not the sink, but the uh, the faucet. So I will be putting that in uh, probably this weekend. We'll see. I've got some other things that I need to do, and that's kind of sort of it. Kind of sort of. Uh, my job is ending in about the middle of February, so figure about Valentine's Day. I'm going to be out of work for a while. Um, the 
The good news is the project that I was working on that has been put on hold for the clinical testing and all of the things that they're doing, um, they are really happy with it. They want to bring it back and continue work on it. So it's kind of work on the next phase and updating it to um, some of the things that they found during the testing. And that should be happening in April. So they want me back in April. But I don't have anything to fill in the time in between. So I've been looking and um, I haven't found anything yet. So I'm going to be kind of jumping off into the void and hoping. Because, you know, there is the possibility that that April work isn't going to come, come through. Uh, stuff like that happens. It's just part of the uh, part of the gig but I don't have any savings left because I burned through all of it when I went up to take care of mom so I'm in a really interesting conundrum here uh, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do I'm still trying to figure it all out um, I really do need to take some time off that is something that's become very very prevalent i have been crunching really hard for a very long time and i'm starting to hit that burnout state and i don't want to burn out um, i really like what i do um, but yeah when you've been hitting the accelerator for so long something's got to give and so i'm hopefully going to be able to take some downtime we will see uh, I'm still going to try and keep going with uh, updates every week. So, hopefully, everything will be fine. If you happen to hear of any uh, really interesting, high-paying jobs in the embedded device field for medical devices um, that I can do remotely, uh, let me know. So, anyway, that's it for now. Um, see you.